So, this is episode 10 of my 8 foot tall Thanos costume build. In the last 9 episodes, I was building the costume, painting it, and adding straps and all sorts of things like that. So, in this episode, the final one, there'll be absolutely no building because it's all done. So, this video will be purely just putting it on. So, before we get started with that, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the little notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up too. Right, let's put on a really big costume. So, just getting all the armor pieces ready to put them on. So, I'm putting them in a position where I can reach them easily. I've got an assistant here to help me, although since filming this, I have actually been able to get into this totally unaided. The arms have been attached to the torso, as have the loincloth pieces. So, essentially, once I've got this ready to put on, it'll be basically leg, leg, body, head, done. So just making sure that the little bit at the bottom there that covers the ankle up, that bit of overall is pulled up, so it does actually cover the feet inside. So first thing to do is put on what is left of the overalls. Now I cut the back off of this and the arms off to make those uh, loincloths and the bits that cover the ankles, and this has left me with a rather sexy looking hillbilly styled backless overall, which is uh, a happy accident really. It's perfect because it's got as much material as it needs so I don't get too hot. I think you'll agree it's sexy as hell. Even more sexy with my awesome suspender belt here. That just goes around your body and fastens with a 50mm buckle. Now I found I need to wear this about belly button height to keep the legs held up high enough. So now that's on, it's time to put the armour on. You would be quite flexible to do this, if you can't quite cock your leg up this high, you could always stand on something to be able to get your leg in easier. So that's my leg in, I'm now wiggling my toes into the shoe and reaching down into that calf there to make sure the shoe's on properly. So now my foot's properly in the right leg I'm going to do up that velcro around my calf and now that's done I can safely put all my weight on that right leg and stand up to better put my left leg in as you can see I'm holding on to something sturdy in this case Mugden to make sure I don't fall over just put in my shoe on now It's a good job that I didn't totally seal the join there between the thigh and the calf like I have done with the forearm and the upper arm with that with some material or something because I wouldn't better reach in there to do those velcro straps up very well. So now attaching those 25mm buckles on the inside of the thighs there to my suspender belt. Just making sure they work properly. Just undone that and pulled it up ever so slightly. Quick movement test, and now I'm confident that that's cool. Next thing is to put some ladies' tights, some really th uh, thick ladies' tights over my head, so I look like a bank robber. And that's doubled over, so you can't see my face. So it would probably be perfect for Robin Banks. And now onto the torso. Now with the arms on this, it's a bit of a faff to pick up and I've made a little wooden thingy there to support it while it's on the throne or anywhere for that matter, so it's not le uh, leaning on itself and damaging it. So that little wooden frame thing basically goes inside and is in place of where my shoulders would be and holds that up. So this just goes on like a really big weird jumper I suppose. So it goes over your head, wiggle, 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 so that plastic frame inside is on my shoulders. And then do not put your arms in. Because next comes the head. Come on, Mugden. There's the head. And remember that's 
built onto the cycle helmet so my hands are still free inside the chest there so I can do that strap up under my chin because the gap underneath Thanos' chin isn't big enough to get your hands in so once that's on you just wiggle your arms into Thanos' arms hold onto those pipes in his forearms and you're done and ready to go now the freedom of, of movement in this is really good especially for such a big costume walking is actually quite easy visibility is surprisingly really good and I can actually bend over enough to see my feet so I can make sure there's nothing to trip over so arm movement is really good got lots of flexibility at the waist that's because I haven't got a giant cod piece or anything I've just got those loincloth things so there's nothing really restricting my leg movement now his knee joints line up perfectly with my own knees which makes walking really easy I move my head, Thanos moves his head and I can even sit down in it provided I have a very big chair so of course I had to go ahead and build his throne too and standing up well that's just as easy as standing up So the throne, in case you're wondering, is absolutely ginormous. Look, this is me in it, and I'm six foot one, and I'm you know a pretty big guy, and it makes me look like a child. This is a wooden frame covered in unpainted EVA foam floor mats. The arms just pop off like this. The back just slides out like this. And then the base is just the base and that's all there is to it. And it can be chucked in the van and taken to events and things. There you go, done. That's how to make and put on an eight foot tall Thanos costume. And since finishing the costume, I've worn it to numerous events and have managed to get putting it on down to about three minutes, which is quite impressive. And I can even do it unassisted. As long as I've got a table or something to put the head on, I can stick the body on, stick my hands up through the neck hole, reach forwards, grab the head and done. Uh, although if you're going to go out walking about in such a big costume at a comic con or something it's advisable to have a spotter with you that way they can point out potential hazards like you know steps or small children standing by your feet for example that way you're not going to injure yourself or anyone else or ruin your really cool costume so yeah that's it that's this uh, project finished make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep an eye on what i build next uh, what that is i do not know yet but I'm sure it's going to be pretty cool and check out the social media links in the description of this video and also head over to Patreon to check out my Patreon campaign where there's exclusive rewards for patrons including all of these videos early. So yeah, there you go. So all it takes is a pepper cure template, some foam mats, a bit of paint, some hot glue and some straps and velcro and things and some bits of wood to make some stilts. So you know, very basic, easy to get hold of stuff and I think you'll agree what the end result is. is pretty freaking awesome so there you go that is irrefutable proof that you don't have to be great at making to make something great thanks for watching goodbye <laughs>